So there's two things here. The other day I was going on and on about how stupid this draft is and this brand split is. And I had some people giving me blowback. Brian, you don't get it. It's just all about the ratings. It's all it is. It's just all about the ratings. And, of course, as we've mentioned here before, there was a day when you would do a draft and it would do great numbers. But if you look back the last couple of drafts, it doesn't do great numbers at all. It doesn't mean anything, okay? Because at the end of the day, everybody knows that historically, you know, eventually they just go right back to whatever they're doing. And let's be honest, that's probably going to happen here, okay? But this speech that he gave, it's not just the speech. In the speech and throughout the show, they went on and on about how after this draft, these two might not be able to team anymore. These two might be split up. Hunter's exact words were, whatever brand Roman goes to, he's staying there. So, but my point is, it doesn't matter where this ends up, okay? But their intention right now, it's not about popping a rating on Friday and Monday. Obviously, you know, they want to, but that's not what this is about. What this is about is their intention is to go back to a split brand program here where Raw has X number of guys and ladies smack down the same, and there's very little mixing back and forth. That's their intention, okay? And we also know that's their intention because we're making another belt, we're making a belt so there will be a belt on Raw and there will be a belt on SmackDown. That tells you that their intention right now is to go back to a hard brand split. Why? It's amazing to me because for the last eight months, we haven't had a brand split. If you have a hot angle with the Bloodline and Sammy and Kevin, they go to whatever show they want to go to. Well, last night, we saw Raquel and Liv who were on SmackDown. They're on Raw, so they could do a six-man. All of the, and you know, people go, oh, well, you know, less people get, well, you know what? Sometimes less people do get opportunities because when things are hot, you should be capitalizing on that, which is what they did over the last eight months. The hot acts were on both shows. Yeah, you know what? You didn't see a lot of guys sometimes, but you know what? You saw the hot acts on both shows, and we have evidence it is the best business WWE has been doing in forever. It's the best ratings WWE has been doing in forever. Like, it's the best. Look at the house show numbers. Look at the big show numbers. Look, at, this is the best it has been in years and years and years. And we didn't have a brand split. And now we're just going right back to it. And then, you know, on top of that, this belt. Okay. I'm sure Mike likes the belt because he didn't bring back the winged eagle. I know you like that big gold belt, but you know what this belt is? This belt, I mean, this this promo that he cut, we've got a champion that nobody can beat, and we decided to allow him to never come to work. But now we are victimized by this, and so to solve this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new belt. A belt for all of you that can't hang with the other guy. And furthermore, the belt that the other guy holds is not a belt. It's two belts. Because they had two champions and they merged them together. And the decision is not to split the belts again. But now we're creating a bronze medal. You're the third best if you have this new belt. And, of course... You know, I, I, you know, Lance, Lance really believes that one of the reasons it's so hot is because we only have one champion and that there is a, you know, this goal for everybody and you don't have a first place and second place. I don't think that's the main reason that everything has been so successful, but there's probably an aspect of that, which is helping. Okay. But now here we are. Now you've got Roman who is unbeatable still, and he's going to sail past a thousand days. And now, for all of you nerds that just couldn't hang on the other on the B brand, we have a C belt for you. I was just flabbergasted last night by this whole thing. Fla Yesterday was a day of flabbergasted on my part. <laughs> I was flabbergasted when CM Punk showed up backstage. I was flabbergasted when they introduced this belt. I was flabbergasted by the way they introduced the belt. I was flabbergasted that they are strongly into, oh, we're back to a total brand split. You will not go brand to brand, you know? 
It's like, hello? That's all I could think yesterday. Hello? And I'm not the only one. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Hate Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm hmm. And by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.